Hi, this is Tom, and in this video, I will show you a few of the many different ways you can add content, that is, your articles, messages, pictures, videos, and so on, to your Ning website. Let's start with the home page of my Ning website. First, I need to sign in. Now notice on the home page you have these boxes. Each of these boxes displays information from your website. For example, the latest activity box shows updates to your website. So far on this website we have only one update, that is, when I first created the site. Now, as I add more information to the website, and as other people join and add their information, this latest activity box will display more information. Here's an example from another Ning website. See all the activity updates? Notice too, they also have latest activity box in the middle of the home page. I will show you how to change the placement of your boxes in a moment. First, let's take a look at these activities. You can see that someone added a new page, a new event, and a couple more pages down here. Now I can click any one of these to visit the new page or to view an event. Now on this website you have to be signed in. So here is the event that was in the latest activity box. Now, how many events can be shown in the latest activity box? That's up to you. Let's go back to my site and I will show you. If you're logged in and you're the site creator or administrator, you should see these small edit buttons in each box. This edit button allows you to change settings for each of these boxes. Let's click on the edit button for latest activity. So you can see this is already set to show 16 events. We can use this drop down box to show less or more items. I'm going to change this to 20 and click save. Now after I have updated the website 20 times or I have members who are updating the site, we will see 20 different items in this one box. You may also rearrange these boxes, like on this website they have latest activity in the middle. We can move our latest activity to the middle also if we want to. Let's do that. We need to click the manage link. Now this link only shows up if you're logged in as an administrator or a site creator. And we need to go to features. Here we have a map of our home page. Each of these little boxes represents a real box on the home page. Let's move the latest activity box from the left column here to the middle column. To move any box, you simply click and drag it to where you want it to go. When I'm finished, I click the save button. Now the latest activity box should be in the middle column of my home page. Let's check. So you can see here latest activity is now in the middle. Now I want to move it so it's on top of everything. Let's go back to manage 
and go back to features. I simply click the box and drag it to where I want it to go. Sometimes it doesn't want to go where I want it to go. So let me try moving this photos box. Let me try moving that down instead. There we go. Okay. Now I'm ready to click save. Let's go back to the home page and take a look. Okay. Now latest activities on the top. Okay, now I want to do something different. I want to write a message and display it on my home page here for all the visitors to see. So what I need to do is I need to add a text box to my home page. Let's go back to the manage page and go back to features. New boxes can be found over here on the left. And just like we can drag boxes in our home page map here, we can also drag new boxes from the left to our home page. I've just added a text box to the middle column and put it on top of everything. Let me click Save. Okay. So to add my message to this text box, I have to go to the home page. And I need to click the edit button. This first box here is for the title of my message. I'm going to type welcome to Thai cycling. And this bigger box here is where I'm going to put my message. When I'm done typing, I can click Save. And there's my message. Welcome to Thai Cycling. Thanks very much for visiting my website. Please sign up and become a member. Okay, now let's say I change my mind about my message. At any time, if I'm logged in, I can come back in here and I can make changes. save them. Now my message has been updated. Okay, what if I want to completely remove this box? I don't want this message on my home page anymore. To do that we need to go back to the features page. To remove any box from our home page, we click and we drag it down here to this box right here that says drag here to remove feature. Now when I click save and we go back to the home page my text box is gone. Let's go back to features. Now you can add any of these boxes and as many boxes as you like up to 20. So I could have if I want five different text boxes, I can have chat, blogs, which we will talk about in another video, notes. I can put on here as much information as I need up to 20 different boxes. Now some of these boxes have advanced features and we are going to cover them and explain them in separate videos. Well, that's all for this video. I hope that you have found it helpful and thank you very much for watching.